Allison, accompanied by her boyfriend Michael and her mother Sylvia, headed to the outskirts today for a surgical procedure. They reached the destination hospital promptly. They were personally received by the female hospital director, Janja, to alleviate Michael's dual pressure due to his blood phobia. Allison asked Daniel, a hospital orderly, to take Michael around. Daniel, a smooth operator, swiftly took advantage of the situation and stealthily took Janja's access card. Then he took Michael to a lab in the deepest part of the hospital. Daniel started stealing drugs and left Michael alone, unsure of what to do. Michael then heard a noise coming from the next room. Curious, he opened the door and walked in to find a woman bound to a bed, her face concealed by a mask. Michael helped the woman remove the mask out of kindness. Who knows? <coughs> Daniel, who heard the noise, rushed over and dragged Michael away. On the other side of the operating theater, before Allison could be operated on, Michael, who was separated from Daniel, rushed in and tried to take Allison away. Michael was inadvertently jabbed by an anesthetist and fell unconscious. When Michael woke up again, chaos had consumed the hospital as a zombie crisis had erupted. Michael took Allison to look for Sylvia, who was undergoing double eyelid surgery. In the corridor, they meet a zombie doctor. The zombies are crawling towards them. Michael grabbed and forced Stan and fought with the zombies. Unfortunately, the Stan got caught in a light fixture, electrocuting Michael, who collapsed and lost consciousness. Witnessing the zombie closing in on Michael, Allison grabbed a nearby cart and blocked the zombie's advance. She then frantically tried to revive the unconscious Michael. Seeing the zombies approaching, Allison has no choice but to abandon Michael and run for her life. Fortunately, the zombies seemed more interested in Allison, and they pursued her closely, paying no mind to the unconscious Michael on the ground. Inside an operating room, a doctor was performing a liposuction procedure. Accompanied by screams, Allison rushed into the room in a panic, closely followed by pursuing zombies. The zombies pounce on the unsuspecting doctor. Meanwhile, Allison, in a state of distress, accidentally hit a nearby machine switch, turning liposuction into injection. The poor fat guy is bursting with fat. After causing havoc and evading the zombies, Allison managed to escape and found her mother in a patient room. But Sylvia was unconscious from the anesthetic and Allison had to push her onto the hospital bed and start running for her life. A half-paralyzed female zombie in the hallway became fixated on Allison, relentlessly pursuing her. With no escape route in sight and the zombie closing in, Allison forcefully crashed the bed into a room's door. As the door swung open, Sylvia tumbled to the ground. Allison hurriedly helped her mother up, but the pursuing zombie managed to bite Sylvia's calf. Fortunately, Daniel intervened just in time, using a fire extinguisher to dispatch the zombie and save them. Michael regained consciousness and stumbled into the hospital's specimen room. The room housed various animal specimens. Suddenly, a drop of blood fell from the ceiling. <laughs> causing Michael to slip and fall. A zombie lizard crawled out from a broken glass container, its gaping mouth approaching Michael. <laughs> Michael scrambled to his feet and fled the room, spotting a room with a flickering fire inside. He barged in. To his surprise, he found Janja and Dr. K inside, frantically burning documents. It became evident that this hospital held dark secrets. Then they traveled together to find a way out. Eventually, they encountered Allison and her group in the hospital. Dr. K saw that Sylvia had been bitten, and he picked up a fire axe to kill her. But before he could do it, Sylvia sprayed him with blood. Dr. K panics, and fearing he'll be infected he takes them along to the dispensary to create the antidote. It turned out that the zombies were created by Dr. K and his team. Patient Zero was the female zombie. Originally, they wanted to use the zombie to make anti-aging medicine, but Michael released it and caused the zombie virus infection. After numerous attempts, Dr. K managed to concoct an antidote. After injecting Sylvia, it's getting worse instead of better. It seems that the virus is no longer under his control. As Dr. K began to show symptoms of infection and mutation, Shanja seized an axe and killed him from behind, an act of eliminating any potential threats to her secrets. After Dr. K's death, Yona and Michael, who had learned medicine, continued to prepare the antidote. Michael pulls Sylvia's hair. When Yona was about to inject Sylvia with the antidote, there was an accident. Here's a syringe.
Yelena was bitten and cried out in pain. Michael is confused as he grabs Sylvia's fallen hair. In a bid to prevent the virus from spreading, they decided to sever Yona's arm. Unexpectedly, there was another accident. Yona was completely devastated. Yona is also a tough guy. He ran to the office and shoved his hand into the shredder. This action also stunned everyone. Allison's mother has also turned into a zombie. In order to help Sylvia relieve her pain, Allison asked Michael to kill her mother. However, Michael couldn't bring himself to do it. Eventually, it was Allison who took the axe from Michael's hands and ended her mother's life. Surprisingly, Allison then embraced Daniel. As they attempted to escape, they found the entrance blocked by zombies. They tried to escape through a back door but struggled to open it. In the pharmacy, Michael improvised a makeshift bomb using chemicals. Just as he was full of confidence and preparing to detonate, it was embarrassing to realize that the door was actually a sliding door. The group passed through the door to the roof of the building, where a wooden plank was connected to another building. Shanja led the way, walking with her arms spread for balance. Daniel and Allison followed suit and made it across. When it was Yona's turn, with only one arm left, he was confident. And Yona fell to pieces. After coming down from the rooftop, the stairwell was full of zombies. So they had to come down through a pipe carrying rubbish. Michael and Allison were the first to slide down the chute, reaching the ground safely. When it's Daniel's turn, he asks Yang Jia for hush money. It turns out that Daniel has known for a long time that Yang Jia caused all of this. Shanja pretended to agree, but in reality, she had sinister intentions. Once they were all safely on the ground floor, just a short distance ahead, they heard a woman's desperate cries for help. A woman is trapped in a pipe and zombies are watching her from below. Daniel and Michael grabbed nearby metal pipes and launched an assault on the zombie. Meanwhile, Shanja entered a nearby room and discovered a bound zombie. This is when Shanja hatched a plan. While Michael and Allison were rescuing the trapped woman, Shanja lured Daniel into the room. Unsuspecting, Daniel walked in and was immediately bitten by the nearby zombie. Looking at Shanja's innocent face, Daniel realizes he has been tricked. Enraged, he swiftly killed Shanja. By the time Michael and the others arrived, Shanja was lying in a pool of blood. Daniel claimed that Shanja had been bitten by a zombie and he had to finish her off. But Daniel concealed the bite mark he had received. Before they could investigate further, the sound of sirens blared outside. The military had surrounded the entire hospital. The woman who had just been rescued ran out of the vent and gleefully ran towards the army. What she didn't expect was for the soldiers to open fire on her and shoot her. Allison despairingly asked why this happened. Daniel explained that to prevent the virus from spreading, escapees were being indiscriminately executed. Under Daniel's leadership, they rushed into the sewers. Unexpectedly, the zombie lizard from before launched a surprise attack, biting Michael. Zombies were now flooding into the sewer as well. They stumbled their way through, finally locating a manhole cover leading to the surface. After Allison extended her hand to open the manhole cover, to her surprise, the soldier above noticed her action right away. Zlatko, Intense pain shot through her fingers, causing Allison to cry out involuntarily. Her fingers were trapped, leaving Allison stuck in place. The cries would soon attract the zombies towards them. Seeing the situation, Daniel attempted to call Michael to escape. Michael removed his glasses, broke them, and used a shard to sever Allison's trapped fingers, preserving her safety. After a quick makeshift treatment, they continued navigating through the underground passages in search of an exit. Fortunately, they stumbled upon another exit. This time, there were no soldiers guarding it. Allison managed to reach the surface safely, because the ladder was quite high above the ground. The remaining two had to decide who would act as a ladder, meaning only one of them could survive. Using the excuse that Michael had already been bitten, Daniel claimed he would take good care of Allison. Although Michael was reluctant, his kind-hearted nature led him to grant this chance to Daniel. Just after dragging Daniel up, a zombie jumped Michael to the ground. Unexpectedly, Michael unleashed unprecedented combat power. Although he was also in a mess, but also successfully dealt with the zombie, he then takes something out of the remains of the zombie, intending to use it as a rope to get Daniel to pull him out. But Daniel didn't want to save him. At that moment, Michael also noticed that Daniel had been bitten, but it was too late for everything. Daniel promptly sealed the manhole cover shut. Michael could only let out a resentful cry from below. Meanwhile, 
a horde of zombies rushed towards Michael from behind, forcing him to continue fleeing deeper into the sewers. On the surface, Daniel and Allison quietly fled the hospital in a car while the soldiers were distracted. Once they reached safety, Allison discovered that Daniel had also been infected. This was when Daniel's true nature emerged. Knowing he was on the brink of mutation, he desires Allison. He wants to experience the life of desire before he dies. Allison, resisting with all her might, grabbed a screwdriver from the car and ruthlessly stabbed Daniel in the waist. Then, with a powerful kick, she sent Daniel tumbling out of the car. After that, Allison started the car and crashed Daniel, who had turned into a zombie, into a concrete pile. A group of zombies cornered Michael in the dead center of the underpass. With nowhere to escape, he triggered a makeshift bomb he had prepared earlier. The bomb triggered a methane gas explosion and countless zombies popped out of the sewer. Miraculously, Michael managed to escape the sewer's grasp. Covered in muck, despite his condition, he picked up a box he had dropped earlier, revealing a ring inside. It turns out, Michael had planned to propose to Allison, but the unforeseen events shattered his intentions. Luckily, he didn't die. Limping, he took a shortcut to the middle of the road to await Allison. Allison in the car thought the figure on the road was a zombie and accelerated past it. By the time Allison realized she had hit Michael, it was too late he was already dead. Distracted, the speeding car collided with a tree. And thus, all the main characters in the story met their end.